Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today is the official launch date of the brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 7 as well as the Galaxy Z Flip 7. And today we will be doing Samsung Smart Switch to transfer from my Galaxy S25 Ultra over to the Galaxy Z Fold 7 as this one will be my daily driver along with the Galaxy Watch 8 Classic. Now, right now, all we're doing is just looking at these main screens, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to know when it comes down to transferring from your old device to your new device, what all could be transferred, and some of the tips and the tricks. Also, the order of which I do everything in. So first off, once you get your brand new phone, you head over into your start screen. Now from here, you just hit on accept for all of these ones here. And then this is where you'd be able to, uh, you know, switch from your Galaxy or Android phone, or you can switch from iPhone or iPad, or you can just set it up manually. Now over here, I'm getting flashed with this little notification stating that I'm able to set this up. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on that little icon there and I'm going to see exactly what pops up over here. And then I just scan this QR code. This is where I'm just going to put in the pin from this device over here to uh, confirm that this is my identity. Now, once you've done that, it's going to head over. It's going to connect to some Wi-Fi. So it's already connected to a, uh, a saved Wi-Fi that was on this phone over here. So again, making this just super simple. Now, I'm not going to move everything over, especially I'm not going to move over all of my settings only because I always love to do the video of all of the uh, settings to change immediately the moment you get yourself a brand new Samsung Galaxy device. So I will be transferring content over, a lot of my data over, but there's a few things that I'll say no to. Also, I'm not gonna transfer everything over. I'm just gonna transfer everything from probably just the last 30 days. So for this one, I'm gonna transfer my data wirelessly. You can do it via the cable. This is where you just plug in the old phone with the new phone with that Type-C to Type-C cable that comes inside of the box. But let's go with wireless because we are here in 2025. Let's go with the latest and the best technology. So it's going to get everything ready. You'll, you're, you'll hear a very small noise between the two of them, and that's just the connection noise. Uh, and then uh, let me just show you what all of this shows here in just a couple seconds. But it's normally at this point in the video, I like to state if your brand is new here, the channel Jimmy is promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, right now, here is the first thing that pops up. So I can transfer over everything, which is 92 gigs, which will take about 59 minutes. Or I can do just the calls, contacts, and messages, which is 611 megabytes, which will take about one minute or I can go with custom. Now I like to go with custom because again, I like to choose what is being transferred over. Now, as you go through and you select things, you'll be able to see how much you are transferring over there on the very top. Now, when it comes down to all of these arrows that you see over here, it's just letting you know that you can expand it so that you can do custom selections per each category. Because when it comes down to applications, maybe you don't need everything to move over, but when you go inside of here, you can select which ones you would like to move. So you can see here I have 189 applications that is selected. If I wanted to, I can deselect a few of them. If I don't want them to move over, maybe I'm done with that application. But this is just where you're able to select what you want to move over. And if I was to unlock my secure folder right now, then I'll be able to transfer everything within the secure folder, which is pretty cool because the past older Samsung smart switches did not allow for uh, the secure folder to transfer over. So I'm gonna go with the applications, messages, and calls and contacts. When it comes down to the calls and contacts, this is uh, expanding out to all of your Gmail. So maybe that there is a specific Gmail that you don't need to move over. Maybe it's just an old one or a trash one that you use for spam. You don't have to move it over, but this is where you can select which ones are moving over. For the Galaxy wearable, I don't need to move anything just because I'm going to just you know fully set this thing up. And I also kind of like the way it is anyway. So I'm gonna go through it and just do it manually. Um, I Let's see here, when it comes down to the home screen, I'm not gonna move over my home screen or my settings. Actually, I'll go through some of the settings because I don't need to have the customization. I don't want my phone settings and permissions to go through or the uh, app. So I will have some of my language packs go through, my connections go through. So a lot of this personalization and customization stuff, I'm not gonna transfer only because I personally manually do it for a YouTube video. So again, that is why it's nice you have the arrow that you can select. For the home screen, this is gonna bring over the widget layout and stuff. So because that is also a part of the video, I'm not gonna transfer that over. But if you want your phone to almost kind of be mirrored like over, just select everything. 
Now for everything down here, I'm not going to transfer everything because sometimes I like to start this phone fresh. Plus also I want to make sure that the photos and videos that I'm looking at on this phone is coming from this device specifically. Now, if I was trading this phone in and I was getting rid of it and I didn't have the possession of this phone like I will, this is where everything will transfer over. So if you are trading in this phone and you're not going to have it in your possession, then just transfer all of your images, videos, audio, and everything else. So I'm not moving over too much, just 37 gigs, which is going to take about 28 minutes. But if you would like to take a look at how long it would take, this is 87 gigs at about 55 minutes. And again, this one is pretty accurate when it comes down to everything. So I, because I have this device and I can transfer these over at any point in time because I'm still holding on to it, I'm going to leave the pictures and videos here because then all the pictures and videos you see on this phone, on this channel, came from this device. So now I'm just going to go to transfer. Also transfer your watch. So the Galaxy Watch Ultra. I'm not going to do that because this one is going to be using the Galaxy Watch 8 Classic, which is the one that I prefer over the Ultra, just because of the physical bezel. Even though the Ultra is louder and it has a slightly larger display, a slightly larger battery, and also more internal storage, uh, I just like the, the look and the feel and the operation of the Classic. So for my biometrics, this is where I'm going to go through and I'm going to set up both of them. So let's go for the face. Here are some of the settings for your face recognition, and sometimes you might forget that you have all of this stuff on your phone. You can always go back. This is one that I don't turn on, which is the brighten screen, because you might be trying to unlock your phone, maybe in a movie theater or a, a dimmer lit location, maybe like your living room or bedroom, and you don't want your screen to just blind you. Uh, but yeah, you also have the option for require eyes to be open. Stay on lock screen until swipe, which I think is kind of dumb. You know, if you're trying to unlock your phone, just get in your phone. Why do you have to unlock it and then swipe it to get into the phone? So everything that they have set up here is perfect. Face unlock and require eyes open. These other two, you do not need to have them turned on. Now that we are in the process of transferring every single thing over, you might be wondering, Jimmy, when do you move over your SIM card? And I always do mine last. The reason being is because everything is already on this phone and this is your life basically. Maybe you got a text message, a phone call, or an email that you have to respond to whenever this is all done. So what happens is once everything is then transferred over, you already took a look at this phone and you noticed all of your pictures, your text messages, your contacts, everything has moved over. That is then when you move the SIM card over. So once everything has moved over, you did your test call, your test text message, you made sure everything is already on this phone, you moved over your SIM card, everything is good to go over here. This is then when you are able to log out of your Samsung account and your Gmail, especially the Samsung account for the Samsung theft protection. Because what happens is that if you factored out a reset this phone without taking off your Samsung account or your Gmail, what will happen is that the next person who turns it on has to put in those credentials with that email and password to even get into the phone to do anything. It's just one of those protections for theft because if anybody just steals your phone, factor data resets it, they can't do anything without the uh, original credentials on this phone. So you just take off your Gmails over here, then you do your factory data reset, and then you trade it in or sell it, do whatever you need to do, and everything is right here, ready to go. That is the process I do, which is Samsung Smart Switch, then the SIM card, ensure everything is right here with the text call and uh, text message, log out of your Gmails over here. You don't have to log out of anything else or take off anything. You just have to log out of your uh, Samsung account and Google and factor data reset it. This entire process is done and enjoy your new phone. Once everything transfers over, you just have to wait for everything to be organized. So especially if you chose the options for all of your home screens and your wallpapers and applications and your folders to move over, this is where some of the organizing is happening. Along when it comes down to text messaging, because it's putting all of your text messages in order, you know, per each conversation. And then with each conversation, putting it also in order there and your images and so on and so forth. So when it comes down to the organizational portion of it, it will take a little bit. So as you can see, my home screen here is kind of stock and out of box, except for the wallpaper. That's okay. I mean, just my little AI generated content wallpaper that I made, that's fine. I'm going to leave it here, but for the rest of everything else, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I didn't want to have all of my folders and applications and everything and settings move over just because again, that is my next video, which is all the settings to change immediately. The moment you get yourself a Samsung galaxy device, because there is a lot to change. What is still kind of coming through when it comes down to this transfer over here is some of the organizational things but really it's just downloading my applications. 
Taking a look at this, a lot of these are still coming in. If I leave it on this page, you'll see more and more applications just dropping in. And then this is where you'd want to just log in with some of those applications. Now, if you have your Samsung Pass from your old Samsung phone and you've already had all of your saved logins, it's gonna make it a lot easier and quicker when you have everything over here. So once again, you log in or take a look at your Samsung account, make sure that you are logged in. So this is where you just make sure that your phone logs have come through, your contacts have come through, you took a look at your text messages, make sure that those things have come through. If you transferred over your gallery, make sure that those things have come through. And I didn't wanna move over anything over because I wanna make sure anything that's on this phone came from this phone. That's just me personally, because I am still holding and possessing this phone here. If at any time I do want these pictures over, I just open up Smart Switch on both of these phones and I only select gallery. This is just another way that you can even share music with people. If you have physical music like MP3s or M4As or whatever on this phone, if you want to transfer over to your friend, your all of your music library, just open up Smart Switch on both devices and only select music and then you're transferring all of your music over. That's another thing you can do. It's not only just for transferring over to a new phone, it's just a way that you can transfer a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, if you want to and you do smaller things, just do Wi-Fi Direct or Quick Share. If you use Quick Share, you can just transfer everything that way too. But I'm just letting you know, Smart Switch is not just for a brand new phone setup, it's just for transferring content. So that's everything that I really want to do in today's video because the next one I'm going to do is talk about all of the settings to change immediately the moment you get yourself a Samsung phone. A lot of stuff is dealing with the display, with the setup of your phone, and also this screen here. You can see everything is just out of order. It's out of whack, not in alphabetical order, and I'm going to show you how you can clean this thing up and make your phone look so much better. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. Hopefully you guys are going out there getting yourselves the, uh, the Fold 7, maybe the Flip 7 maybe even uh, the Galaxy Watch Classic, or if you're going for the refreshed version of the Galaxy Watch Ultra 2025. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out in some way. If it did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.